Hello coders, I welcome you all. As you know, Pandas is a popular library in Python for data science. It provides powerful functions that make it easy for data science professionals to clean, manipulate and analyze the data sets. So in this video, we are going to discuss 10 must know Pandas string functions. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have created this toy data set. Let me execute this cell. Let me check. As you can see here, this is our data set having three columns name, city and state and four rows 0 to 3 that you can see over here. So now let's discuss our first function string dot lower. So this string dot lower function can be used to convert all string values in panda series to lower case. This can be useful for standardizing the case of string values to ensure uniformity when comparing or aggregating values. So I'm going to apply this string dot lower on this name column. So let me write data and in bracket notation name column as you can see here. Now let me write str dot lower function. Let me execute this cell as you can see here. Now all characters are converted into lower case of this name column. So let me create new column to store this updated values. Let me write data and name underscore lower. You can use any other name. Let me execute this cell. Let me check as you can see here our newly created column with values in lowercase for this name column that you can see over here. Also we can use upper in place of lower. Let me copy this and let me paste it over here and let me use string dot upper and let me create new column with this uppercase values of name column name underscore upper. Let me execute this cell. Let me check as you can see here. Now all characters of this name column are converted into uppercase that you can see over here. So this way we can use string dot lower and string dot upper string function of pandas that you can see over here. So as I said, this function can be useful for standardizing the case of string values to ensure uniformity when comparing or aggregating values. So now let's discuss our next function string dot length. So this string dot length function returns the length of each string in the series. So let's calculate the length of each string in the name column. So let me write data which is pointing to our data frame and our column name name as you can see over here. So now let's use string dot length as you can see here. Now it is showing length of each string in this particular column. As you can see here length of this string 13 length of this string 15 likewise. So let me create new column name underscore len is equal to this statement. Let me execute this cell. Let me check as you can see here our newly created column name underscore length which contains length of each string available in this name column that you can see over here. So this way we can use length function that you can see over here. So now let's discuss our next function string dot strip. So this string dot strip function removes beginning and ending white spaces from each string in the series. Let me show this. So let's check first value of string column. So let me write data and our column name city this one. Let me execute this cell. Let me check first value this one as you can see over here space at beginning and space at the end. So using this strip function we can remove this beginning and ending white spaces. Let me show this. Let me write data and our city column. Let me execute this cell as you can see over here some spaces at beginning and at the end. So now let's remove this. So for that we have to write str dot strip. Let me execute this cell. Let me assign this to new column city underscore strip is equal to this statement. Let me execute this cell. Let me check as you can see over here our newly created column city underscore strip. Now let me check first value this one once again city underscore strip zero as you can see over here now beginning and ending white spaces are removed. So this way we can use strip function to remove beginning and ending white spaces from each string in the series that you can see over here. Also we are having other two functions L strip and R strip. So L strip will remove white spaces from left while R strip will remove white spaces from right. Let me show this. So once again, let me copy this 
and let me paste it over here let me execute this cell as you can see over here white space is at beginning and at the end so now let's remove white spaces from left side so for that we can use l strip so let me write our city column dot str dot l strip let me execute this cell let me create new column with this l strip so let me write city underscore l strip is equal to this statement let me execute this cell let me check first value as you can see over here left white space has been removed because of this l strip that you can see over here same way we can remove this white space available at right side using our strip so let me copy this and let me paste it over here let me change this l to r and here as well so here we are creating new column with this name city underscore r strip let me execute this cell let me check first value once again as you can see over here white space has been removed from right side so this way we can use r strip l strip and strip you can use these functions as per your requirement so we can use this strip function to remove beginning and ending white spaces from each string in the series also we can use l strip so l strip will remove white spaces from left side also we can use r strip so this r strip will remove white spaces from right side so this we can use any function as per your requirement that you can see over here so now let's discuss our next function string dot split so this string dot split function is commonly used as string function in pandas that allows you to split a string into a list of substrings based on specified separator let me show this let me display our data frame so now let's split our name column into two parts first name and last name using this split function so let me write data in bracket notation our name column that you can see over here so we are going to split this name column into two parts first name and last name so let me write str dot split and we want to split as per white space you can see here let me execute this cell as you can see over here so let me create two new columns which contain first name and last name let me execute this cell as you can see here value error because here we have to use one parameter of this split function expand and let me set it to true so the expand argument is set to true which means the result will be written as a data frame with one column for each substring let me execute this cell let me check as you can see over here now our name column has been splitted into two columns first name and last name so this way we can use split function that you can see over here so now let's discuss our next function string dot contains so this string dot contains function is used to check if a string contains a specified pattern or substring it returns a boolean value true or false with true indicating that the substring is present in the string and false indicating substring is not present in the string so now let's check each string in name column for substring but let me write data and our name column so now let's check for this substring but so for that let me write str dot contains but let me execute this cell as you can see here as i said it returns a boolean value with true indicating that the substring is present in the string false indicating the substring is not present in the string that you can see over here also we can retrieve particular row where this condition is true so let me pass this boolean values into our data frame like this let me execute this cell as you can see over here so this way we can use contains function to check if a string contains a specified pattern or substring as i said it returns a boolean value true or false with true indicating that the substring is present in the string and false indicating the substring is not present in the string that you can see over here so now let's discuss our next function string dot replace so this string dot replace function is used to replace one or more substrings in a string with another string let me show you this let me display our data frame so now let's replace the string ny in this state column with string new arc so for that let me write data and our state column this one and let me write str dot replace 
and let me replace ny to new org let me execute this cell as you can see over here also you can assign back but let me create new column with name state underscore replaced is equal to this statement let me execute this cell let me check as you can see over here also we can use this string dot replace in chain like this so let me write str dot replace and let me replace this ca with this one to california so this way we can use string function in chain as well that you can see over here let me execute this cell let me check as you can see over here so this way we can use string dot replace that you can see over here so now let's discuss our next function string dot starts with so this string dot starts with function is used to check if a string starts with a specified substring or not so let me display our data frame so now let's check this column first name whether it starts with the letter p or not again this string dot starts with function returns boolean values true or false indicating whether each string starts with p or not let me show this so let me write data and our column this one let me copy and let me paste it over here let me execute this cell now let me write str dot starts with p let me execute this cell as you can see here as i said this starts with function returns boolean values true or false also you can retrieve row starts with p like this as you can see over here this one so this way we can use starts with function to check if a string starts with a specified substring that you can see over here also we have another function ends with so let me copy this let me paste it over here in place of start let me write ends with and now let's check our last name column this one so i want to check any string in last name ends with l let me execute this cell as you can see over here this two ends with l in this last name column that you can see over here in place of displaying these rows also we can create new column so let me write data and ends with l is equal to this statement let me remove this and let me execute this cell let me check as you can see over here so this way we can use starts with and ends with function that you can see over here so now let's discuss our next function string dot cat concatenate so this string dot cat function is used to concatenate strings in panda series with a specified delimiter let me show this so let me first display our data frame so now let's concatenate these two columns first name and last name so let me write data and let me copy this column name first name and let me paste it over here and let me write str dot cat and let me write data and this column last name let me copy this and let me paste it over here and let me add delimiter with sep white space let me execute this cell as you can see over here so this way we can concatenate strings in panda series with specified delimiter here we have used one white space that you can see over here so let me assign this to new column full underscore name is equal to this statement let me execute this cell let me check as you can see over here so this way we can use concatenate function to concatenate strings in panda series with specified delimiter that you can see over here so now let's discuss our next function string dot get so this string dot get function in pandas allows you to extract elements from a string based on their index let me show you this so now let's extract the first character of each name in the name column so for that let me first display our data frame so let me write data and our name column and we want to extract first character of each name in this name column so let me write str dot get zero as you can see over here so this way we can extract first character of each name in this name column also we can extract last character from each name in this particular column name let me execute this cell as you can see over here so this string dot get function can be combined with string dot split to extract a specific element from a list created by splitting a string on a separator let me show you this let me write data and our name column and let's split this like this so this is at index 0 and this is at index 1 now we can use 
get if you want to get this one or this one this is at index 0 and this is at index 1 let me write 0 that you can see over here let me extract last name as you can see over here also we can use index 1 or negative indexing minus 1 let me extract first name like this so this way we can use get function to extract elements from a string based on their index that you can see over here and also we can combine this string dot get with other functions like this that you can see over here here we have combined this get with split that you can see over here so this way we can use get function that you can see over here so now let's discuss our next function string dot slice so this string dot slice function is used to extract a substring from a panda series of strings let me show this so let's use this string dot slice function to extract the last three characters of each name in the name column so for that let me first display our data frame let's use this name column so let me write data and our name column so i am going to extract the last three characters of each name in the name column so for that let me write str dot slice and let me use minus three as you can see over here so this way we can use slice function that you can see over here also here you can pass index start with zero to some index let me write three as you can see over here but as per our question we want to extract the last three characters of each name in the name column so for that let me write minus three that you can see over here so let's do something so let me copy this and let me paste it over here so now let's extract first three characters from this name column and let's concatenate it with state column and here i'm adding one white space between this and this let me execute this cell as you can see over here so this way we can use slice function also we can assign it to new column let me write name and state is equal to this statement let me execute this cell let me check as you can see over here so this way we can use slice function so let's discuss our next function string dot find so this string dot find function in pandas returns the first index position of the substring within a string if the substring is not found it returns minus one let me show you this so let me first display our data frame so here we want to find the index position of the first occurrence of the letter i in the name column so for that let me write data and our name column let me execute this cell and let me write str dot find i as i said we want to find the index position of the first occurrence of the letter i in the name column let me execute this cell as you can see over here as i said if the string is not found it returns minus one that you can see over here let me assign this result into new column index of i you can use any other name let me check as you can see over here so this way we can use find function in pandas to find index position of the substring within a string that you can see over here so also we are having another function r find r find returns highest index position of the substring within a string if the string is not found it returns minus one let me show you this so let's find the index position of the last occurrence of the letter a in name column so for that let me write data and name column and let me write str dot r find of a let me execute this cell as you can see over here as you can see here it is showing highest index position of the substring within a string that you can see over here let me display our data frame as you can see here a over here at 10th position which is highest same for others that you can see over here so this way we can use find and r find hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel if you like this video smash that like button thank you very much for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next video